What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, one sec, one sec. Okay, I'm back. I was gone for a little while. Uh, I went to go check what my classes were, um, but then I ended up checking if my jacket was dry and uh, from the dryer, and I talked to my parents for a little bit, and you know, it took a minute, and I was gone for like 10 minutes or so. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I signed up for my classes this morning. I woke up, so yeah, I woke up at eight about, uh, yeah, I woke up at eight. Uh, no, no, I woke up at like 8.30, I think. I woke up at like 8.30, and uh, you know, I took a shower, brushed my teeth, you know, um, brushed my hair, and yeah, I don't know, it went well. Um, then I had a meeting at 11 to sign up for my classes, um, and I am si signed up for EET 131, which is IT Essentials A Plus Certification. Uh, and that's every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 2.20 p.m., which is a three and a half hour class. I just realized, that's crazy. That's a three hour, okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's the only time I'll have to come in. My other two classes are Thursday classes and they're online. So my first Thursday class is Intro to Software Development, which is from 3.30 to 5.20. Um, and then my second online class is Introduction to Linux, which is on Thursday from 6 to 6.50. <laughs> I'm recording this on a, Linux, on a Linux computer right now. Um, I just did some stuff with my Minecraft server that's running Linux. I run VBSs that run Linux. It, I, I know Linux. My laptop for school runs Linux. It, I, I know Linux. Uh, it's just that I got to do this requirement for school, so I got to do this class. I'm sure I'll learn stuff I don't know, because Linux is like a bottomless pit of information that you can just learn more stuff about all the time. Like I'm still, uh, like I just recently learned uh, like file permissions and stuff, which I should have known before, but you know, looking back at it, but I just, you know, I just learned file permissions. I just never, I never put in the effort to learn the string of text when you do ls-l in your, in your home directory, for example. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy I'm not really doing prerequisites anymore. There's one more business class I'll have to take, but I'm not really interested in taking that right now because um, I'm doing no technology-related classes right now. I'm just doing math and, and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, so... Hmm. Oh. Um... Uh, then I did my business, um, I did my business quiz, uh, for this sort of section. Um, I think I got about an 80%. Um, there were like, I think 60 questions and 40 of them were multiple choice questions. Um, and so, um, but then the other, the last like 20 or the last 10 or something were, uh, like short answer questions where you type in the text box. And the thing is that those are temporarily marked as zeros until the teacher grades them, right? Or the professor, until the professor grades them. Uh, and so when I finished the test, it says I got 50 out of 100, right? That's not true. Yeah, uh, that's 50 out of 100, including the zeros I got, which are temporary for the short answer uh, section. Um, in reality, you know, I, I did the math. I counted all of the stuff I uh, got correct in the short short um, in the multiple choice questions and I got 80%. So I got 80% of the questions right there. I think I got most of the questions right in the short section. So I got at least 80% uh, on that test. So feeling good about that. Um, last night when I got home, uh, oh yeah, I went to a party yesterday. I went to a birthday party. Um, it was really cool. It was for a friend of mine. I don't know her super well, but um, you know, she's she's always been very, very nice to me and I was invited and all my friends were there. So, um, well, most, most of my friends. Um, you know, so I showed up, there's this, um, there's some wonderful food. I brought like six bags of chips. Uh, funny story actually, um, I, did I mention this in my video yesterday? I can tell by the time I, oh yeah, for sure. Um, so, um, I showed up with like six bags of chips. Luckily everybody ate like half of each bag. So I'm very, 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 very happy about that. Sometimes you bring chips to a party and you don't open them. Nobody wants to be the person to open the chips that nobody knows who brought them. Because uh, who knows, maybe they're that person's chips, right? Um, but luckily, everybody opened the chips, everybody ate half of each bag, and I'm feeling very happy about that. Um, yeah, it's always great when you bring something to a party and like it's like good, and people eat it, you know? Uh, but it's chips, you know, they design them and all have to be tasty. But, you know, still, even then. Um, you know, 
Um, yeah, so um, I was just, we had the cake, it was very tasty, very good cake, it was like an Oreo cake, it had lots of very tasty frosting, typically cake frosting isn't good, but it was like Oreo frosting and it was super tasty, I keep saying tasty over and over. Um, there's this phenomenal banana pudding uh, that another friend of mine made, and uh, she put like Nilla wafer, like crust on it, it was so good. I got a little bit of it on my Yeezy Gap jacket, but <laughs> I, I just wiped it off with a toilet paper. I'm happy it's made out of poly, you know, this is the only time where I'm happy it's made out of like poly, like 95% polyester, 5% spandex, because um, it's, uh, you know, if I get something like a like banana pudding, it, uh, I could just wipe it off with toilet paper in the bathroom. My friend's house doesn't have a lock on their bathroom door, which is crazy. You have to open the door slightly, yell in there, make sure nobody's in there, and then you walk in. It's weird. Um, what else happened? For, uh... Uh, my friend made brownies and they were very, very good. Um, my, I, I, I think that's about it. My friend made like, I forgot what it's called. I think this is a Hawaiian food, but he's Vietnamese, but um, he made this very good food. It was like a spam, like sort of slab of spam and then rice on top of it, like sticky rice. And then you wrap it in like uh, seaweed and it was really tasty as well. Um, and yeah, all that was super tasty. Um, you know, near the beginning of the party, me and my friend uh, got some juice at the corner store. Uh, I don't drink soda. I haven't drank soda in like a month and a week, like five five weeks, I think. Um, so, because it's soda is so bad for you, I'm trying not to drink soda, even though I drink juice, which is just as bad for you sometimes. Uh, but I drink way less juice than I do soda, because juice is just worse. It's just not as good. Um, but, you know, we went to the thing to get some soda for people, and um, I, I got my juice, and it was tasty. It's like mango, but it had like some seeds in it. It's like interesting. I, li I like drinks with little... Oh. Uh, oh, can I make this bright again? Uh, it made my... Uh, I like drinks with little objects in them. <laughs> it's fun. Um, and then, you know, we just hung out for the rest of the party. I played Skate 3 on the TV for a while, and that was really fun. I might emulate Skate 3 on my computer. Very, very, very fun game. Great game, very fun. Um, you know, I always saw recordings of Skate 3 and like people playing Skate 3 on YouTube. You know, I watched them. I watched NerdCube play Skate 3, you know, and try to break all the bones. But, um, you know, it's a very, very, very fun looking game. Um, yeah, uh, it, and it was very fun to play too. Um, yeah, then me and my friend, we ended up walking to McDonald's um, and we had McDonald's and that was tasty. They were out of water. <laughs> We had to get a cup of water at McDonald's that said they're out of water, so we just got a lemonade. Uh, I also got a milkshake, and that was really good. And I got a, a quarter pounder deluxe, and uh, some. Oh my god, I need a friend to send my friend seven dollars. I just realized, I just remembered. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, aside from that, I'm just hanging out. Oh yeah, and then we went home. Uh, remember my boot on my water bottle? Totally lost it. Um, it was in the photos of the party, it was on my water bottle, and on my way home, I, I, on my way to McDonald's, I just lost it. I was sitting there with my friend, and I was like, where did the boot on my water bottle go? And he's like, oh, I don't know, that's weird. And, uh, you know, I totally walked back to her house, both ways, on both sides of the street, to, um, you know, see where I had lost it. I couldn't find it. I think I might be at my friend's house still, um, but, you know, it just hasn't turned up, and it's weird. Um, I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'm just hanging out. I hope everybody has a phenomenal, phenomenal day. Um, oh, yeah, anyway, anyway. So I, I, I walk home. I walk home from, from uh, the strip mall. And, um, you know, uh, I, what am I saying? I walk home from the strip mall, right? And I immediately go downstairs because there's a dog there. I brought allergy medicine with me, but allergies are still kind of affecting me. My nose is a little runny. But what's even worse is if you take off all your allergy-ridden clothes in your room, then your room is infected for the next few weeks and you're just sick. You're just sick for the next few weeks. So the meta, if you have a dog allergy, is just to go down to your laundry room immediately and strip. Just take off all your clothes, right? And uh, once you've taken off all your clothes, just like sort of queue them up down there for washing. So I washed my, uh, uh, I washed my hoodie first and then I washed my, uh, um, my jeans and then I washed my jacket and that, spilled over into this day. Um, this is the first time I've washed my Yeezy Gap round jacket too, and uh, it was actually really interesting, the drying process, because it recommends low drying, and I did that, 
But um, I did one cycle with the low drying and where the cuffs fold in on the sleeves and it kind of crumples up near here, it was still wet. So I ran it a second time, still a little damp. So I ran it a third time, then it was dry. Um, but I don't know if running it on low for like a really long time is better for the jacket than running it on high for just like one cycle. I don't know. But also maybe we just have a bad dryer. Um, and what else? Nothing else really. I mean, um, I got home, took off all my clothes, you know, got it ready. Um, I took a shower, very nice shower last night. Um, yeah, and then I, I went to bed um, at around one and I woke up at eight, which is an hour less of sleep than I want. But you know, my I set my alarm for nine, right? And my body was making me get up at eight. I, I woke up and it was eight and I was like, oh, I have an hour of sleep left. So I fell back asleep, but then I woke up immediately after. I just kept doing that over and over. I was like, fine, if you really want to get up, I'll get up. But, um, yeah. All right, I think that's it now. Uh, yeah, all right, see you.